No, Lala, I will not pay. Chai! It is very dangerous. Say dangerous. Dangerous. Hallelujah. Amen. A lot of people are suffering not because of anything, but because of some vows that we want. We break. So vows that we don't, we, we are not serious about. Number one, secret vows. That you, if you alone, you, you even, you will not even say, but you, you, if you mention it within your spirit, that if I get this, I'll do this. Hello? So, you can even come to the house of God and you'll be sitting down like this. And then you, 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 you make a vow within your spirit that mm. ah, if God make a way for me, mm. I will do this. Mm. Immediately you say that thing within your spirit. The spirit of God has what? Because Bible says, as a man take it, mm. so is he. Now okay, okay, get on for saying. And then number two is that vows that we make in the house of God. And not that you you think not to say we no vows that we make in the house of God. You will come to church and I'll be preaching that we want to buy something, microphone. I want some people who support for us to buy this microphone. And the price of this microphone is two thousand euros. Say two thousand. Two thousand. Then no, no, just stand up and say, Pastor, I will support three hundred euros. Then Minister Michel will say, Pastor, I will support two hundred. Then another person will say, Pastor, I will support thousand. I will support hundred. You will support five hundred, three hundred. Fine. Somebody will pay one. Another person will pay. Somebody will pay half. Then the half will be remaining. Listen. Immediately you stand on your feet. This is the reason why I say, vows in the house of God is very dangerous. Immediately you stand on your feet like this. And me being the servant of God, I pray to seal it. Mm -hmm. And you fail to fulfill it. Hey, hey. It is very dangerous than somebody using a knife to kill you alive. You know why? Because what? Even if the pastor is in prayer over it, immediately you, you use your mouth to say, I will do this, I will support this, and you feel that one is first offense. Mm -hmm. hmm. Hello? Hi. The second offense is that being a servant of God standing before you, and I call the name of the Lord to see this. And at the end of the day, you feel, what do you think is going to happen to you? Hmm. Hello? Hi. And this is the reason why I said tonight, open your, 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 allow yourself for God to speak to you. So as you are listening, then you, you, you are thinking your own life outside and inside the ministry. Hallelujah, somebody. Mm -hmm. So, first one is secret vows, whereby you make the vow by your own without telling anybody. Mm -hmm. Then the second one is that vows that you do or you make in the church that you don't fulfill it. Then the third one is agreement vow. What is agreement vow? Agreement, agreement vow is that whereby I come to minister something. Minister, I want you to give me your Bible. I want to use it for one week. The minister will give it to me. I said, Minister, by one week time, Sunday, next week Sunday, I'll bring it to you. It is an agreement. The Spirit of God has hold on to it. One week. So in the one week bridge, and I know I am, I, I want to use it. I need to go to Minister Sampong. They say, Minister, please. I said I will be bringing it today. But please, give me another one week. That one, I am settling it with you. If I fail to do so, and Minister Sampong do, hmm, God says he will check. It is in the Bible. We will go there. Hallelujah. So agreement vows is whereby another one to I am a young man. I see a young lady. Hmm. I love you. Mm -hmm. I will marry you. Mm -hmm. I will give you the moon. <laughs> I will give you everything. <laughs> Listen, I will make wedding. I will do wedding for pain. No, but I will do my bed. Then I will say, I will marry you. Then I will be doing one or two to one or two. Immediately I get her. Then I 
no pain. Say, I said I will marry you. I have changed my mind. Shut! You change your mind for what? Cares ahead of you. Hmm. Hallelujah. So you see the reason why some people are suffering in marriages? You were a young woman. Promise. Brother, I will marry you. Then the brother will give me 20 euro you take. Mm -hmm. 20 cities you take. Mm -hmm. 20 naira you take. Mm -hmm. Thinking that I will get you, you. to marry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe my shoe or some good product, maybe I'm a red and white. Every day my shirt is red and white, red and white. And I say, I'll marry you. I'll be giving you 20 to do. Then the next day, you see another man with hammer, Kai. with coats. Then you begin to think, some good always you wear red and white. One shoe, one trouser. And the money is 20 euro. This one is hammer with suit, with shoe, long one, pointed. You say pointed, uh -huh. And if this man will do something great for me, oh, let me snub some good too. But one way, don't know. One way, one way. He will not take, will not take me to anywhere. Mm -hmm. Then you snub me. Hey! It is a breaking of vow. So if you are one here, Think about yourself, the number of people you break back. Mm. 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 Hallelujah, somebody. Yes, so begin to think about your own life. How many people have you broken the back with? How many people have you been chopping, 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 chopping your money? Mm. I listen to one song on, on YouTube, this Nigerian song. He said, I will chop your money. I was smiling. You say, I will chop your money, I don't care. I say, God will chop your money, you don't care. God will care. God will care. Hallelujah. I say, God will care. God will care. Hallelujah. So, agreement vows is one by two people. You agree. Then later you break it. And some people make it make it worse. And this one is different topic that I don't know they will teach about it. That the the that the Lord will take them away to the stand that they will begin to cut their finger. Then they join it. Hmm. Then it becomes covenant. I am not going to the covenant side today. Not covenant. Let's remain on the vow issue. Just the talking vow. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hmm. So, the agreement vows is well by two people. You agree on something and later you break it. So, if you get married because of the former things, one, me, I promise somebody, I live. One, two, I live. Three, I live. Four. This is the reason why there are some people that before you, they, if they are having a wedding, wedding, before you realize the wedding has finished. Mm. Because you know the history that the things that they have been doing, promising that they have been promising. So if you make the announcement, all the guests will come and scatter the wedding. Mm -hmm. You are dodging physically, but spiritually you can never. Oh, Hallelujah. Amen. So, three things that I want us to discuss, and I pray that the Spirit of God will give us the way to finish it. One secret vow, two vows in the church, three agreement vows that we break with some people. Hallelujah. Amen. Vow is very important. It is the spiritual keys. Hallelujah. See, spiritual key. Spiritual key. You can be praying about one thing, you can be fasting, right fasting. Water fasting, fruit fasting, grow four. They have so many names for fasting. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And that problem cannot be solved. The only spiritual key, one of the spiritual keys that can unlock is vow. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You know why? Sometimes, maybe I want to buy a car. Minister, I want to buy a car. And the car that I want to buy has been free. God help me to buy a car. But my motive will not be positive. The motive behind it, the car that I want God to help me to buy, it is not positive. Why? Because I remember some time ago, Minister Kweku was driving. Instead of him to pick me, he didn't pick me and he went. Now, his car, he has lost his car. And I am praying that God will give me money to buy a car so that I will show Minister.
it a good bed. This is now it has been body with better than a real water car. Hallelujah. God will not allow you to do what? To buy the car. Unless you have what? A change of mind. Maybe you want to you, like you, you, you want to give birth, but you don't treat some people's children good. Hmm. How can God give you a child? You need to have what? A change of mind. Anything that God will give you, God has to benefit from it. Mm -hmm. That is why he told Abraham, I come to Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. Down. He said, Abraham, I the Lord will bless you and you will be a blessing unto others. Me be shrao. Now what's why they be? What shira in comfort? And the car now we go on pay na. And as soon as we be say, we show the bank one they be in comfort. Now and no na e ya na e was a vow na they be. God, if you help me to get this, I will do this. Hallelujah. God, if you make a way for me, I will do this for you. God. If you make the way for me, if you give me this, if you pave the way for me, God, I will give you this. It is a spiritual key. So immediately you utter the vow. Then because of that, God will see that spiritually, you, you, you have a change of mind. You are thinking of him. Then God will make a way for you. Mm -hmm. So God will give you the thing because of the vow. And immediately you fail to fulfill the vow. There is a great cases behind it. And this is the reason why some people are suffering. You can be going from prayer down to another. You'll be using another direction to another. From one place to another, but still. There are some vows that you need to break it. So. Hallelujah. Vows in the house of God. Amen. Let us look at something in First Samuel chapter 1. First Samuel chapter 1, verse 9. Eleven. There was a man called Elkanah. Elkanah got married, and the woman that he got married names was Hannah. Listen to me very carefully. And Hannah and the husband tried always a means to have a child, but the child was not what was not coming. That Elkanah also got another marriage. He got another wife. Osapowali from Obani from Penina. Immediately this new wife came. He delivered. Hello? New wife in the Bayern way at the or shas, yes, oh. So what the new wife will do is that immediately the new wife sees that Hannah is coming. Then the new wife will just be teasing Hannah. He will just be singing lullaby song. Hey, you are Hello? <laughs> She would just make her own song, create, compose, mm -hmm. just to tease Hannah. Amen. Amen. First Samuel chapter one, verse nine to eleven. You have a Listen to me. Amen. So the woman would just be teasing what Hannah. The woman would just be teasing Hannah. So the mind that Hannah was having is that change around it. If God help me, God help me to have a baby, so that this woman will see that means to me to me what. Hello? Uh, Every day, this was the mind of Hannah. That may God help her to have a child so that her rival will see that she is not a bad. Uh, and the husband of Hannah was a very faithful man. They always travel to far place to worship the Lord. And when they go, the husband knows that sacrifice is a key to break through. So the husband would sacrifice for the wife. And when it gets to the turn of Hannah, he will sacrifice a double portion. Hallelujah. Amen. Just to have favor from God for God to open the womb of the wife. Mm -hmm. Not knowing Hannah was having a different mind. That God, give me a chance so that I will show these people that I am not a bad. Have a positive mind. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Always have a positive mind. Think about the things of God. Mm -hmm. So one day, when they went to the house of God, and the husband did all the sacrifice. He sacrificed double for Hannah. Then Hannah came back to her senses that no, I need to do something else. So the Bible says, Hannah stood up, went alone to the house of the Lord, and began to make.
meditate. He, she didn't pray for people to hear her voice. He began to meditate. She, she was crying, meditating, crying. The Bible says, Hannah made a vow. And the vow that she made is that, God, if you help me, just give me one male child. One male child. Father, I will not mind that my, my rabbi. But just give me, just use the boy to just pass through me. And after that, I will give the boy back to you. Then God realized that this person is having a change of mind. Mm. She made a vow. She realized that the sacrifice will not do anything. But rather, she didn't have what? A change of mind. So she made a vow with Shem So I know the farm of Rangel, the farm is so tender. Not knowing when she was crying and praying. The bishop was sitting there like, we are drawing the tongue to say, Epe Yana, for how long will you continue to be drinking like this? Or by the bishop, what goes on like this? Listen, when your blessings are about to come, people will rise against you. Yes, amen. It doesn't matter the person. Mm. It doesn't matter who the person is. The enemy can use anybody. Mm. So you don't have to listen to anybody. The things that people will be doing will be doing. First Samuel, mm -hmm. chapter 1, verse 9 to 11. Yes. He said, once when they had finished eating and drinking. When they had finished eating and drinking. In Shiloh, Hannah stood up. Hannah saw it in an And Ella, the priest, was sitting on a chair. By the uh, doorpost of the Lord's temple. Ten, in bitterness of soul. Now, Hannah, in a real woman. Hannah wept. Was sunny. Much and pray to the Lord. Now we'll compare to the one day. Eleven, and she made a vow, saying, "And now we are going to worship. What can I say? Oh Lord Almighty! Oh, what did I do? If you will only look upon your servant, then can we show our finger? Misery and remember me. Now, then can we cry me? And not forget your servant. Now, what do I want to learn from me? Give her a son. Now, so I don't want to be a bad man. And I will give her. I will give him to the Lord. Alani, my son, the abofrano, all the days of his life. Amma, na ni kwenye ni na abofrano. No razor will ever be yield on his head. Hallelujah. Amen. What's my son, the man? Abofrano, Amma. But Hannah made a vow in the house of God. This vow she was speaking through in, in his in her spirit. Hallelujah. And something happened. The verse twenty. Bible says by the end of the year, Hannah conceived and mm. delivered safely. Mm -hmm. Twenty says in the course of time. In the course of time, Hannah conceived and gave birth to a son. Hannah had been born your father. Amen, Samuel. Saying, because I asked the Lord for him. Amen. Hallelujah. When she made that promise, it paved the way. Why? Because he said, if God, if you help me to deliver, to, to, to have a child, I will give the child back to you. This is whereby sometimes people do. In your own quiet time, you can make a vow. If God help me to have this, I will do this for God. If God help me make a way for me, if God help me to get a job, I will do this for God. But at the end, we don't do it. There is a curse. Say there is a curse. There is a curse. When Hannah God provided, and the child, the moment she delivered, she waited for some time, and then she presented the child back to the house of God. If you read the verse 26, 27, there, it is there. She presented a child, and that child is somewhere. Hallelujah. Sometimes you make a vow in your house, but you don't fulfill it. Hello? Uh. You make a vow in the house of God, but you don't do what? You don't fulfill it. Another person called him chapter, according to Judges chapter 11. Bible says, chapter was driven away. His own people drove him away. And in the course of time, his own people came back to him. Said, come and be our commander. Go and fight for us. And if you win, you will be our king, our commander. 